Hey, how's it going guys? So this is a video to show you how I made my own teleprompter and I'm actually reading off of it right now. Now, I don't like using a teleprompter for my videos, but for review videos that have a lot of technical details, it's nice to be able to read off, well, the details. It allows me to be accurate and it saves me time. But most of the time, I just like to run and gun when making videos. That's just kind of my style. Okay, so teleprompters use a piece of glass called a beam splitting mirror, meaning it lets light through and it also reflects some of it. Uh, as well, the reflective coating is on the front of the glass, preventing what they call a double reflection or also called ghosting. Now, having said that, using a regular piece of glass will also work, except the images or text will have that double reflection. If you don't mind that, you can save a lot of money as the beam splitting mirror is a piece of expensive glass. I purchased my mirror on eBay from twowaymirrors.com. If you do any searching around, their YouTube videos usually come up. Also, they have a hmm, very unique presentation style. Go check them out and buy a mirror from them if you need one. Shipping was fast and they had the best price I could find, at least at the time I was searching around. So to make a teleprompter, basically all we're trying to do is mount the mirror so we can put a camera behind it and a tablet below it. To accomplish this, I modeled up some parts in Fusion 360 and 3D printed them. I have shared the files if you want to print them out yourself, so feel free to do that. I didn't want to make this video super prescriptive with like specific dimensions. What you can do is take inspiration from this video to do it yourself without 3D printing, as not everyone may have access to a printer, but with some ingenuity, you could build this totally without 3D printing. I chose square aluminum tubing for the main rail as it has a very high strength to weight ratio but steel tubing can work too. The mirror and tablet mount is essentially a wooden base with some small hinges attached to also a wooden frame housing the mirror. Now, some 3D printed mounting parts are attached to the wooden mount using some one inch aluminum bar stock um, that hold the mirror in the open position when in use. I did use some four millimeter hot melt inserts so bolts could be used to keep everything together. When not in use, the frame folds for easy storage. Assembly is simple. The 3D printed parts slide over the square tubing. Some 832 bolts are used to keep the parts in place. The whole assembly is then mounted on a sturdy tripod. A piece of 1 8 aluminum was tapered so the tripod clamping mechanism could grab onto it. You could also use the plate that comes with the tripod and attach it to the teleprompter as well. The camera is mounted onto the clamping mechanism from another tripod that was attached to one of the rear 3D printed mounts. You can also buy this tripod part separately. I just happened to have an old tripod that I wasn't using and I cannibalized it. To black out the rear of the tripod, some quarter inch aluminum rod was mounted in a V so a piece of black cloth could be draped over it. Velcro could be used to also hold it in place. This is really important as without it, it's really hard to see the text on the teleprompter glass. On the tablet, I tried a few different types of teleprompter software, both on Android and Windows. It takes some time to get the timing right and some software even has like voice recognition built into it. So it will advance the text automatically, but I found that it could be a little finicky. I'll include some helpful links in the description below for the software and some of the parts I used to build this teleprompter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'll leave you with some reference shots of the completed teleprompter so you can get a sense of how it all fits together in case I left something out of the video.